pops out of it. It's so weird. No, I need to just do launch. Pretty sure. Gotta do double jump. I'm not used to comboing like this. <laughs> I didn't call damage. I mean, it was on Twitter for like, I kept it on Twitter for like, for like six to eight months. I only got rid of it at Twitter like, like three months ago? Yeah, like three months ago I got rid of it at Twitter. Well, no, it was longer than that. It was like February. It was like March. Yeah, it was February when I got rid of it at Twitter. Twitter? But yeah, I kept, but I kept it up from like, I think September, last September to February is when I kept that Twitter up and it was like a big old long wall post and everything like that and I tried to get information from like other people and tried to get support from like other TOs and stuff but I did speak to Kevin Ha and he did like advise me to just like reach out to the TOs directly and give them the police report and it might be okay. That's what I feel though. Like, I feel like like just because these guys are dudes, if they're their friends are more inclined to believe in and question people like I think feel like you can never question a victim, especially if they have a certain character. I'm probably being like biased and like not really appropriate, but I mean take me for example, I've been in the scene since at least two thousand and three, like heavily active in the FTC and I haven't had anything bad on my reputation until the Canada Cup day which wasn't even intentional, I'm, I'm just an idiot. So like, I've had a completely clean reputation since then, and I'm also one of the, the much more conservative, like, con very conservative, innocent girls in the FTC, so I don't see why anyone would ever question me, honestly, ever. Cause I've been, like, chances are I've been in the scene longer than anybody who's played Marvel 3. Like, anyone that's started with Marvel 3, I've been around a lot longer, and I've probably been to a lot more tournaments, so I just don't get it. But regardless though, what the woman dresses like or what she's into or whatever, you should still like at least at least consider believing her story story. Cause it is really hard to come forward. And bad today. And and bad ending. Oh, the incident happened in Evil 2017. It literally happened in front of people at the top 32 it happened. Literally, the, no, the top 64, I'm sorry, at EVO, EVO 2000, so literally right in front of hundreds of people. I know we, we get busy watching Marvel, but come on. And I did tell like five people immediately. I told I Heart Justice, I told Evil Winster, which is a local Arizona player. Um, he's, he's a friend of mine. I told Quackbot, and I also told, told my best friend, Jeanette. I was like, sh I was like shaky because of it, so I don't think I described it properly. But I felt like I got brushed off by almost everybody, and I'm really upset. I feel really betrayed because of that. But um, Winster did end up apologizing to me when he saw the tweet. But he just said that he just didn't quite understand what I was trying to say. I'm trying to say because, like, but, but yeah. And then my friend Jeanette, believe me, I told Dykes as well about it, so he knows about it, of course. So yeah, it's like, I wouldn't lie about anything like this, because for one thing, it's very easy to sue someone for a defamation as well. It's very easy to do that. So accusations like this can actually really put you in the position to be sued for that, and that will, you know, that will make it even worse for you if, if you're a liar. So I highly advise against people trying to sustain or even exaggerating any any type of any part of the situation. I highly discourage that because not only could you ruin people if you're lying about them or if it wasn't an actual crime, but also, like I said, you can get sued for defamation, and that's a very serious thing, too. Like, you can get your assets seized and everything like that. Even if you don't pay up, they can still put a lien on your property and stuff like that. So, yeah, you're putting yourself in a bad position if you're lying. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Um, I'm in um, Clegg Madness, the Wolverine player from SoCal. He groped me and if you're in a top 32, during a top 64 in Evil 2017, I'm not lying about this. I had a big old tweet about it about eight months ago or so. 
lots of people know about it. I have a police report that I could literally pull up right now if you guys want to see it. Signed by the Las Vegas police. And I'm also going to get a permanent restraining order against him um, next Friday because I have every other Friday off. So he won't be able to attend any of the events that I'm at just because, um, just in case any of you come back. And I'm also going to to contact um, Ponder and Inkblot since they're the new owners of Evo and stuff. I'm also going to contact them about banning him as well and also also Uncle ba how do you say his name? <laughs> Bae? Because Kevin Aha recommended that I do contact him because he's like the owner of Esports Arena so I, ta I mean I tagged all of them in the post but they just kind of ignored it so I'll just do that again. Because like SoCal is a the main place that I travel to and I want to feel comfortable when I travel to SoCal, so. But yeah, I told I heard Justice, Wimster, Jeanette, Quack, lots of people, <laughs> lots of people know about it. But yeah, like, what happened was, like, during pools when I was getting ready for pools, like, he actually knew I liked someone else too, but he just, he introduced himself to me for the first time <clears throat> in pools and he like said it like I recognized him from the run back and from Wednesday night fights and everything like that. So, so yeah, like so we were like barely acquaintances if even that. And he just kept on, like kept on bothering me between pool matches and when I was talking to like priests and stuff like that. And and, quite, he, and every time like they left me alone, I would he would always come back and try to talk to me and stuff like that. And then eventually he gave he he pressured me into giving him my phone number because. And then I said, because he said that we were going to go to his hotel room and play Marvel. And then I asked him, I said, are you sure we're going to play Marvel? He said, yeah, we're going to play Marvel. He said it very nervously and fake, and it was obviously a lie. So he wouldn't stop texting me after that. Of course, I didn't go. I just went to the salty suite. Um, but so, so yeah, like I gave him my number. He kept uh, bothering me. I kept the conversation going a little bit but short just because I wanted to be nice and I wasn't remotely interested in him. But he made it pretty obvious that, it, that he was hitting on me and stuff. But I, I implied heavily that I liked someone else, someone else that was there and stuff. And he knew it because, like, when they won and stuff, he said he was like, at least your boy won or whatever like that. So, it's, so yeah, it was just really stupid. It was just really stupid. And he just kept persisting and such. So, like, this was like early in the afternoon because you know evil pools are kind of early. I think I had a noon pool and then when he groped me it was during the top 64 for sure up when it was a big crowd, people standing on chairs and stuff like that and um, also, and also it was like, like I said it was during the crowd and stuff and that was about 6 to 7 p.m. and that's what I put on the police report. It was, it was about 7 p.m. which is true, right? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, it was around 7 p.m. It was like 6 30, 7 p.m. I think. And then, um, so yeah, that was when he did it. He did it in the crowd, and the most disgusting thing about it was the fact that he did it like three times, and when I like looked over my shoulder a little bit. He was just looking down like very gently and gently doing. He wouldn't even stop when I looked. Like I flinched, and then I looked, and I was just like frozen. Like I know girls say this, but like just to be like not to be too personal, but I've only been touched by like two guys in my entire life is in being in a relationship, so I I do not have much experience, and so. That was completely alien to me and everything like that, so it's just like super scary. I appreciate that, B Man. It did pretty much scar me for life, and I still feel pretty dirty though. And I like, I kind of questioned what I was wearing because I was wearing like a tight dress, but I was fully covered. I mean, my legs were, you know. It was like a little bit above the knee, but it was, it was still a tight dress, and, but I was still covered under my legs though. But yeah, he did it. He did it like three times, and I'm pretty disgusted. And I always remember, like, not to be graphic, because I try to keep this a family stream. But he just like rubbed the side and like under. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. But yeah, he was just like rubbing like more towards the side and stuff, and that that was just disgusting. At first, I thought someone just bumped into me, because that happens in Marvel crowds. Like when everybody's watching um, money matches and stuff, they do bump into you, and it does kind of feel like you get groped, to be honest, but then when I look back, I actually saw him in the act, he didn't even pretend that he wasn't doing it to me, and that's why I have so much hatred for him. I tagged him in every single post, too, in that tweet, like, I kept tagging the heck out of him, and he never once came forward to at least apologize to me, so, so yeah, I'm pretty disappointed, though. I mean, I don't really, just because I'm a very conservative person, but 
and it was pretty obvious I wasn't I wasn't interested in him like he's not even remotely my type and I just met him anyway so but yeah it was just like really stupid and I just hated that people like don't even believe me or they don't even like they haven't even ostracized him a little bit yet people that I feel have way less evidence than I do I hate to say it, but they believe them. Like it, it is all he said, she said, 10 x 10. But I actually went far enough to get the law involved, and like not to dismiss other people, but that that is something that a lot of people haven't done. To be perfectly honest, but I did, and all of those are a crime. Following a filing a false police report, that's a serious crime. I could go to prison for that if I was lying, for one thing. So yeah, it's, it's just really stupid. This is, yeah, things like this don't help me in the FGC, like, seriously. And this happened, like, in the crowd or something, but she didn't even see the person, so this thing happens a lot. It wasn't resolved because the police, they said because it was three years, because I didn't file the police report until last year. He said it, like, he was trying to, the police, he was very easily, easy to dismiss it. And then I said it, like, I'm going to post this on Twitter now since you guys can't really do anything about it. I said, what if, what if someone's, what, what if someone said in the crowd remembers it and, and they want to like become a witness or stuff like that? I told the police, I said, can I do that? And he said, no, because it was too suspicious by me coming three years later with a witness. That was literally what the police said to me. It was a so stupid. So no, it's not resolved. The only resolution that um, I can, the only resolution would be pretty much is getting him banned from like what at least west coast tournaments and like i tried to but no one really listened and then most of all getting that restraining order against him some restraining orders still don't ban people from public places but i mean i think i would hope that would at least discourage him now i i think they're only five years long though a permanent one but i mean i could just keep renewing it though forever yeah i hate that that was pro probably the worst experience I've had with the police, actually. But you guys do know Clegg, right? He used to be in that clan or whatever called, like, Fort, like, with Fruit Punch and Fortress, and then, like, somebody else was in that crew. He used this, like, Wolverine. I don't think Wolverine Doom Virgil. He used this Wolverine Doom somebody, but, but yeah. He was actually on Cloud 805 stream. I mean, he was streaming in Mar he was streaming Marvel Infinite like he was streaming Marvel Infinite like only like two months ago, and he was on Cloud 805 stream like three months ago as well playing Marvel 3. So I don't know. But yeah, SoCal is mainly what I worry about though, because I want to get start going to. Oh, I see. It's okay, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like like bring this up or anything like this. It's just. It's just all this, these allegations and stuff, like just, it's just been bringing back this memory to me and it just really sucks. Cause like I said, I haven't been touched by many guys. I'm pretty innocent, I'm pretty conservative. I mean, even if, if I wasn't, women could, you know, you still gotta believe the victim and stuff. But it, yeah, like I'm literally the least person to make up this stuff. Cause like, I know a lot about the law and I know that there's huge repercussions for lying about any of this stuff. Oh, the, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Two Chains. Thank you. Man, I really appreciate all the, all these subs. Like, I can't believe you guys are just subbing us someone like me. I can't even believe people are watching right now. 